But what is breast cancer? Cancer refers to an unregulated and abnormal excessive growth of cells. Cells make up the tissues in your body, like how bricks make up you know, walls in buildings. When you have cancer in an organ, what happens is that the cells grow too much, they overgrow, they start to crowd out normal cells, they tend to form tumors or swellings, and these grow. And as they grow, they tend to spread. Some spread by direct extension, like they've spread from one organ to another by, by just moving in a certain direction. And some spread through the bloodstream or these other vessels called the lymphatic vessels. So breast cancer occurs when you have a very unregulated and erratic abnormal overgrowth of cells in the breast with a tendency to spread. In medicine, we call it metastasize. That's a big word, but really talking about spread. Quite a few misconceptions about breast cancer. And I think the commonest one is that it only runs in families. For example, every now and then I'd recommend, you know, a woman to do a mammogram and she'd tell me, well, I don't need to do it because it doesn't run in my family. The truth is that only about 10% of breast cancers are familial, you know, run in families. So that's a misconception. Another is that if a lump is in the breast, it must be cancer. That's not true. Another is that if you have breast cancer, you're going to die. That's not true either. Breast cancer is not a death sentence. Another misconception is that men don't get breast cancer, only women. That's not true. Men can and do get breast cancer, but at much lower rates. Another misconception is that mammograms actually cause breast cancer. And that is also not true. Several risk factors for breast cancer have been identified. Some are avoidable and some are not. For example, some people are just genetically predisposed to get breast cancer. It's in their genes, their genetic makeup, and we really can't do anything about that. They've also found that, research has also found that, women who start seeing periods at a very young age, for example, under 12, and going to menopause at a later age, for example, over 55, have a higher risk of developing breast cancer. There's some things that you can actually do something about. So for example, women who drink a lot of alcohol, alcohol has been found to increase a woman's risk for breast cancer. For example, women who drink at least one alcoholic drink a day have an increased risk for developing breast cancer. Another risk factor is a woman's reproductive history. So for example, women who start having children over the age of 30, or women who have never had a child, and women who have never breastfed, also have an increased risk of developing cancer of the breast. There are some types of drugs that may increase a woman's risk. So for example, some menopausal women take hormone replacement treatment. And there are some types, not all, some types of hormone replacement that may increase a woman's risk, especially if she takes it for more than five years. It's something else that I really have to say because we're living in a time of, of COVID-19 now and everyone should be practicing the basic principles of you know, self-preservation at this time, which are wearing a mask properly, hand washing and sanitizing and maintaining physical distancing. Everybody should be doing that. But especially if you are being treated for breast cancer and you're taking, for example, chemotherapy, it is extremely important that you adhere to these guidelines and protocols because chemotherapy, while helping you to recover from breast cancer or, or, or treating breast cancer, it has a negative effect on the immune system. And if COVID attacks you with a weakened immune system, it is more likely to result in severe consequences. So please, everybody should be practicing these things, but, 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 if you are being treated for breast cancer, be extra vigilant. If you have cancer, it's very important to get your information from reputable sources. The internet is a great place for you to get information, but it's also a great place for you to get misinformation and a lot of nonsense, conspiracy theories, and basically a lot of rubbish from people who think they know a lot, but really don't know that much. It's very important to be specific about where you get your information from and to discuss these with your physician. Some people oversimplify cancer management. So for example, 
someone may say this herb is good for cancer. And that really doesn't make sense because there are many different types of cancer, not just one. And these different kinds of cancer are treated and they behave in very different ways. Even breast cancer is not one kind of cancer. You have many different types of breast cancer and they behave in different ways. So it's very important to get your information from reputable sources. Remember that. So we often talk about breast cancer, but there are many different types of breast cancer, not just one type. So when you hear the term breast cancer, it could be many different types. Some types are aggressive. Some types are slow growing. Some types will occur just as one lump. Some types will occur as, as many different lumps or specks. Some types will occur only in one breast. Some types will occur in, in, in both breasts. So there are many different types of breast cancer. So breast cancer is not just one type of cancer. And they are treated in different ways depending on the type and the stage.